Hello everyone, welcome back to Pictorial Innovations and if you are new here, a warm welcome to you as well. In this video, I'm going to share with you 6 things you probably don't know about Pixel Lab that you should know. These are things that will help you work faster, smarter and more creatively with this awesome app. So if you want to learn these 6 hidden tricks in Pixel Lab, make sure to watch this video to the end and hit the like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Also let me know in the comments which of these tricks you are just getting to know. Let's get started. Did you know that if you are designing a Pixel Lab and you use a script or decorative font in your design, Pixel Lab will automatically cut out a part of the font, especially the ones that have long strokes. Let me show you what I'm talking about and how you can fix it. So let's say we want to write a text. Let's write this text here. So let's write something like this, bright. Then let's increase it. Let's change the font. Go to where you change your font. So let's use this script font, Biloxi scripts. Let's use this one. So this is our text. But I can assure you that Pixel Lab has cut a part of this text, which is not giving us the full beauty of this particular font. Now let me show you what I'm talking about. Now let me duplicate this. This is the one that Pixel Lab cut out. Now let me duplicate it and sh show you the trick. Now double tap on this font, then give it double space. One, two. So we have two extra space here, then it's okay. Can you see the difference? Can you see that Pixel Lab has cut a part of this font, which is not giving us the full beauty of the font? But with the trick I just showed you, by giving two space after writing your text, you have the full beauty of the font. So anytime you are working on Pixel Lab with a script or decorative font, always confirm to be sure Pixel Lab is giving you the full beauty of the particular font you are using. So let's get to the second trick. I have seen many designers on social media asking fellow designers the size they used for the design they posted and most of those designers will not even answer their questions. <laughs> Guess what? You just have to find your way. But did you know that you can get the exact size of a particular flyer you see online without having to ask the person the dimensions they used with just a copy of the image they uploaded using Pixel Lab? Now, let me show you how you can do that. Go back to where you saw the post and make sure you save the images then come back to Pixel Lab. So what you have to do when you get to Pixel Lab is to go to this fourth tab here, then go to From Gallery. So if you go to From Gallery, it will take you to your file manager where you can select the image you just downloaded from that social media you went to download it from, then bring it to Pixel Lab. So let's say this is the design I just downloaded online. Now without even having to import it to your Pixel Lab, you can see from here the size that was used for that particular design. This is the size that was used for that particular design, 3840 by 3840. Now, if you want to make use of this design, you just have to click on this, then click on the mark like this. Then you have it like this. Then if you go to image size, you can see you are using the same size the person used for that particular design you saw online. Then to make use of it and start designing, you just have to go to color, and change it to any background color you want, maybe white, and start your design afresh with that same size. You can see it here, the size did not change. Then you can start designing whatever it is you want to design with that same size you saw online without having to ask the person what dimension was used. So another thing is, I'm sure we all know that Pixel Lab only has an undo button, but no redo button. So I just wonder why many designers match elements that they know they will still need to be separated later in their designs. Maybe because they want to move the elements or scale them together. But did you know that you can actually move and scale as many as elements you like together in Pixel Lab without having to match them? Let me show you how. So let's say you have different elements in your design that you want to move together or scale them together. No, without having to go to layer, select everything, and match them together because you want to move them together like this and scale them together like this then later in your design you realize you need to put this text here then you know that by the time you go back and have them separately like this you cannot go back i mean you cannot redo 
should go back to where you stopped in your design so instead of doing that you can just go to where you manage your layers go to where you select your layers select everything like this so instead of going to match click on this guy here this edit here then from here you can either rotate scale or position or shift the position like this you can rotate everything together like this and you can use this guy to also scale them together like this without having to match them together do the same thing you can go back and do the same thing select everything click on the edit and use this guy to move all of them together so i would advise you to only match the elements that you know later in your design you don't have any reasons to separate them so let's go to the next one have you ever tried to use the race color feature in pixel app and you are getting one annoying white stroke around the object even when you increase or decrease the tolerance slide and play with the other buttons <laughs> well maybe this particular trick is for you you can actually erase any color from any object and get rid of the annoying white strokes without even touching the tolerance light. This is how you can do it. Let me show you. So we have these two shapes here. So and to, to erase the white color here, we just have to match the two together. So let's go to layer, then select the two and match them together. So by the time we match them together, we can now go to erase color then click on this enable color so automatically it will remove the white so after removing the white let me zoom in for you to see what i'm talking about after i remove the white you can see this annoying white stroke this might distort your image and make your design look unprofessional yes i know you can work with the tolerance here but there's something about this tolerance you start moving it to see when the white stroke goes off but going too much you notice that you start losing the color of that particular shape but this is actually time taking so what i do is that i don't even touch the tolerance uh color i just click ok so what i do is i go to color enable the color and choose the same color i chose here which is the red by the time i enable it's, it's already on red you can see so by the time you choose the red it will get rid of the white stroke you can see there's no white stroke here again and it retained the color so without having to be you know playing with the tolerance going up and down you just have to work smarter and faster so let's go to the next one i have seen many designers designing for their page or clients that didn't give them enough content and at the point of adding quotes they minimize pixel up and go online to start searching for quotes this is actually time taking but did you know that there's a feature in pixel lab that allows you to choose from a wide range of quotes within the app without having to minimize and start searching for what is not lost let me show you where the edit in pixel lab so in pixel lab you don't have to stress yourself just go to this guy here this code sign by the time you click on it you have a wide range of quotes here both in english and french so the sweet thing about this feature is that you can choose from a wide range of categories you can choose from motivation success quotes happiness quotes inspiration positivity and all and also found what you are looking for you can just click on it and you have it in your design like this then like every other text you can change the font you can change the color and anything you want to change it you can even double tap to edit that particular text to add your own or remove whatever it is you want to remove from there and you are good to go without having to minimize and start searching for what is not lost so let's go to the last one this one is not the general problem but mostly for graphic design beginners i have seen many graphic design beginners posting flyer designs turning the objects or image in their design into something else by wrong scaling did you know that your design will look unprofessional if it has a wrongly scaled or distorted image in it let me show you the right way to scale your images in pixel app without distorting the image or the objects assuming this is the image you are working with i've seen a lot of designers that they scale their images from below and the side like this which is totally wrong because scaling from the uh, from the lower part of the of the image or the side part of the image it distorts the image and make it look unprofessional so the best way to scale your design is from this particular angle this angle you can only scale from this angle because scaling from this angle will make it scale proportionally and it will not distort the image you can do that for element or shape or anything in your design as well scaling from this side will distort your image but if you scale 
from this side is to scale proportionally and you have it in a professional looking manner so that's it guys if you want to stay updated with the latest smartphone graph design tips and tricks i invite you to subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell to be notified whenever i upload a new video keep nurturing your creativity and let's continue this artistic journey together until next time stay creative